Hey, I'm John Morello, Twistlock CTO. One of the most common questions that we get from our customers today as they uh, become more sophisticated and mature in their usage of containers and they adopt orchestration tools to do that at scale is how does Twistlock work with the orchestrators that I'm using? So Kubernetes is obviously very popular, OpenShift, Tectonic that are sort of Kubernetes derivatives, if you will. But we also have Docker Swarm, of course, and DCOS. Um, so one of the great things that we've done with Twistlock is we've explicitly designed the product to not be dependent on any specific orchestrator, but to really take advantage of the native capabilities that they all provide. So whether you're using Swarm or Kubernetes or even something like AWS's uh, EC2 container service, what we've done with Twistlock is enable you to leverage those orchestration tools both to provide high availability to our console, which is the, the uh, set of containers that makes up our database and our API endpoint, so that you're using a native like Kubernetes pod, for example, to ensure that that console is always available and is deployed into a host that's running and live, but also to leverage the capabilities of those platforms to automate the deployment of the Fender to each one of the hosts in your cluster. So for example, one of our largest customers runs on Google Container Engine. Um, they've got several hundred nodes that they run in that environment. And they want to make sure that every time they add a new node as they scale that environment, that they put a Twistlock Defender on that to provide all the capabilities that we do. So instead of them having to go and manually install that or create some sort of you know, shell script or something to do that, they're able to leverage a daemon set functionality that Kubernetes has natively to make sure that the Kubernetes cluster is always going to automatically deploy a Twistlock Defender to every new host that comes online. And we have very similar capabilities with Global Services, with Docker Swarm, and DCOS as well. So really the core message to take away is regardless of what orchestration platform you're using, not only are all the features that we have for vulnerability management and compliance and runtime defense equally applicable and useful to you in all those cases, but that we also are leveraging the native capabilities that those platforms provide for providing HA for the console and for automating deployment of Defender on each of your nodes.